Welcome to our Kawa Mall instructional video. Today we'll show you how to use this mini GPS tracker. This device can track any object that requires GPS tracking and it's very portable, very easy to use. You'll need to provide a SIM card from your local wireless provider. A track phone SIM card will not work with this device. It comes with a weatherproof pouch to store the GPS device. It will help you shield the water away. This is an AC wall charger that can charge the battery in two different methods. First method you can plug directly to the GPS device. You can also charge it with the battery base station like this. This also comes with a magnetic battery door that can be used to stick to metal surfaces. The last item is a GPS tracker. You can remove the back door and you can see where the SIM card can be installed. To install the SIM card, slide the metal plate and flip the door to the side. Then insert the SIM card and close the door and slide back into the lock position. Go ahead and insert the battery and put the back plate to make sure it's locked in place. Turn on the device, hold the on and off button for 3 seconds and you'll see a green light flash. It should continuously flash to indicate that the device is still on. To activate the GPS, you must send a text message with the word BEGIN and then your password. For this demonstration, we will use 123456 as our password. After you send a text message, you should receive a message back to confirm the activation. To set the administrator to the device, you'll need to send a text message, type admin and your password, leave a space, and your phone number. This will establish where to send the GPS tracking information to your phone. Whether you call the phone number on your GPS tracker or set it in the monitor state, this is what you'll see in the text message when you receive from the GPS. If you want the GPS tracker to alert you when it leaves a certain boundary, then we'll show you how to establish the boundary for the GPS tracker. To set the boundary area, you'll need to get two GPS coordinates from a map. For this demonstration, we chose the entire state of Colorado. You'll see that I got my two coordinates, the upper left hand corner and the lower right hand corner of the state. This is the format is which we need to enter into the GPS to send a text message with the following information. Type in the, the word stockade and your password and leave a space, your upper left coordinates and your lower right coordinates. Then the GPS will send you a text message back to confirm that you established your boundary. To disable the boundary you just type in no stockade and your password and you'll get a confirmation that it's been disabled. If you want the GPS to alert you when the object is moving, we'll show you how to establish this setting. Type in move and your password, and you'll get a confirmation that the setting is enabled. To disable, you type no move and your password, and you'll receive a confirmation that it's disabled. If you want the GPS to alert you when the object is speeding, well then we'll show you how to establish the setting. Type speed and your password, leave a space, and the speed in kilometers per hour. Then you'll get a confirmation that the setting is enabled. To disable, type no speed and your password, and you'll receive a confirmation that it's disabled. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or comments, please give us an email.